the last thing what you want to see while at work is a scene like this where someone got hurt. Unfortunately, it still happens all across the industry. But where can you go to learn all about the recent incidents? This is what the EASA Annual Safety Review is all about. EASA's Annual Safety Review has just been published. It contains information about the accident and serious incident that happened in the EASA member states last year. You can learn about all the different incidents, but why should you care about this document? The ASR, as it's called, helps shape the EASA safety priorities across Europe. It forms a key part of the European safety risk management process and feeds directly into the European plan for aviation safety. This ensures that we are managing the greatest risk within our industry. This ASR covers all the parts of the civil aviation, including airline operations, cargo, aerodromes, rotocraft, special operations, general aviation, gliders, air traffic management, balloons, airworthiness. And for the first time ever, it also covers drones. Oof. 2023, air transport was back to 95% of pre-pandemic level. Millions of flights took place in Europe in safety, with no fatal accidents involving a European operator. Let's put that into perspective. These four boxes are fully filled with grains of rice. Each rice corn represents one flight that was operated safely in Europe last year. So altogether that makes 18 non-fatal accidents that happened last year. And all this level of safety can only be achieved by all aviation professionals working together. Incidents come in all shapes and sizes. Also the geopolitical situation affects the aviation safety as an example of satellite navigation being spoofed or jammed which is reducing the airspace availability, which is a growing concern of ours. Also, the uh, earlier of this year accident in Haneda shows us that we need to uh, take uh, the runway safety also as a concern and work on it. 2023 saw an improvement in helicopter safety. All through, there have been 98 fatalities over the past five years, so there is still work to be done. The top cause of accident is loss of control. So EASA developed a rotorcraft roadmap to encourage pilots for virtual reality training to increase safety. Sorry, I was just checking the tire pressure. Technical failures are a common cause of accidents, so small things like this can be very important for safety. The number of general aviation incidents stay stubbornly high and show no major changes over the past 10 years. The top accident causes are twofold. When engine power is lost for various reasons, this can lead to a loss of control, often due to lack of airspeed and attitude monitoring. This shows the importance of private pilots being able to handle emergencies. Remember, safety is everyone's responsibility. We rely on your safety reports to analyze the risks that impact our industry. We want to say thank you to all the professionals in the aviation industry and the national aviation authorities for the role you play in keeping the European aviation safe. Check out the full annual safety review on the ASA website because it will help you identify which risks are relevant to your operation. Thank you very much.